What is going on everybody? My name is Robert Watkin and welcome back to another Vegas Pro 15 tutorial. Today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to zoom in and kind of crop your frame. I'm also going to be showing you how to do basic animations on these frames. If anyone watches my main channel, I tend to do this quite a lot on my videos just when I'm talking just to kind of add to the effect and try and make it a bit more humorous. Or also a lot of the time I'll just use it to kind of draw the viewer's attention to whatever I want them to look at. So here I've just imported some media and I've just dragged it onto my track. Quickly playing this video, you can see it's a video of my friend Kai, he's just doing a flip there. Now for this clip, I'm going to have the video actually zoomed in to start and then it's going to zoom out just as he does the flip. Now the first thing I'm going to do before I actually start with the zooming is I'm just going to crop it to where I want it. I'm going to start the clip about here just so Kai is in frame. So I think I quite like the video like this. I think it's actually going to start zoomed out and then it's going to zoom in here when Kai looks at the camera. And then it's going to zoom back out when he does his flip. If you have seen my video where I've done the black bars tutorial. If you have seen the videos where I should. Ah! If you have seen my tutorial where I showed how to add black bars to videos. I used the pan and crop feature. We're also going to be using the pan and crop feature here to do the zoom effect. So you want to click on this little icon here where it says event pan and crop. And then if you move this little frame here. You can see on the preview it actually zooms in. Basically, whatever this rectangle is showing inside is what's going to be shown on the final preview. Now, as I said, I want it to be zoomed in on Kai's face for a bit. So I'm just going to move this and you literally just drag it around until you get it where you want it. If you notice, you're trying to scale the frame and it's having this issue where it's not sticking to the same aspect ratio. Basically, what you want to do is you want to right click on here, click restore just to make sure the frame is the right size. And then you're going to click on the lock aspect ratio button here. So now I'm just going to frame that back onto Kai's head, like so. I'm going to make this window a bit smaller as well, just so I can see what I'm doing on the timeline. I'm going to play it and just see how it looks. So now I'm going to want to make it zoom back out when Kai does his flip. So this little timeline here is just affecting this clip that I'm editing. And I can see that if I scroll along, we can get to where he does the flip. So I'm going to go about here. This is where I'm going to want it to zoom out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this plus icon here and it's going to create a keyframe. What this keyframe is, it's basically a specific point where a change is going to occur. And basically between the previous keyframe, which is over here, and this keyframe, it's going to be animated. And it's slowly going to transition from this keyframe to this keyframe. So on this keyframe, once I make sure this is selected, I'm going to zoom out. And because I actually only want the full screen in display anyway, I'm just going to right click and click restore. So now it's the full frame. So if we start at the beginning here and we drag through, you can see that that rectangle is slowly getting larger. And if I actually play the clip on the main window, you can see it is zooming out here. Now, of course, I want it to be locked onto Kai's face for a little bit longer before it zooms out. And to do this, I can easily just move the keyframes. So what I'm going to do first, I'm actually going to find where I want the zoom out to start. So I'm going to stay here just before he's about to do his flip. And this keyframe here is where it's zoomed in. I'm just going to click that and drag it along to this line. So now we can see it's zoomed in all the way to this point. Once it hits this keyframe, it starts zooming out until it hits this keyframe. So now I'm going to close this window. I'm going to hit play on here. And there we go. That's how you can zoom. Of course, this is only a basic example. There's many more ways you can use this effect effectively so like i say in all my other tutorials mess around have some fun just see what you come up with messing around is literally the best way to learn how to edit it's how i done it it's how many other people who edit learn to edit um so yeah just have fun enjoy it i hope this tutorial did help but that is where i'm going to be ending this video guys so remember if you want more tutorials subscribe like and share this video also check out my main content on my main channel link should be on screen in the description and i will see you next time